Hey everybody, welcome to another new player guide. We're almost done the course on investigators, but we're currently stopped at Skidzo Tool, the rogue investigator from the game. These decks were built uh, by Travis uh, using only two core sets, and uh, all of our suggestions are going to be coming from exclusively the cycles. We're going to be taking them piece by piece as opposed to just assuming you have every card in the game. Rather, we're going to be focusing as I said, cycle by cycle. If you only have one core set, I highly recommend picking up another one or making proxies as it will help you win more or lose less. Anyway, Travis, let's go to Skids and we're gonna actually go, we're gonna go to Bryn because Bryn knows Skids. They're good friends. Bryn knows green. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might, you might look at Skids and think, wow, that's a green character, but secretly he's not. You get to play blue <laughs> cards, so... That's kind of kind of the important part. He should. But you get to do it while maintaining the uh, green identity of cheating the game. You know, you grease the right palms, you take an extra action every turn. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we've got uh, we've got a forty-five automatic and a machete because we need to kill things. It's what we do. It's good. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. No, These decks are damage with, good. Uh, damage good, not list. damage bad. Uh, so Machete does not have the mutation that changes its experience. Just for this. All these cards are no taboo list. Yeah, if you if you only have two core sets, don't play with the taboo list. Yeah. It'll just make your life miserable for no reason. Um, because yeah, it's so, a way of getting your fist higher. Yeah, we're, we only we only have a base punch of three, so we need every every fight bonus we can get, pretty much, mm -hmm. in order to be able to consistently fight at the five or six that we want to. Yeah. Uh, we've got a flashlight, just because why not? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you're building a very, very powerful course. neutral card. Yeah. And our base book is three, so, you know, it's probably good enough. Uh, Leo DeLuca is actually my best friend, I think. <laughs> uh, he just gives he just gives you 33% more turn every turn. Yeah. He's your boyfriend, like Justin is. Uh... <laughs> Who would Travis's be? We have to think about that. <laughs> Like yeah, maybe so Dr. Milan. Just, yeah, probably. There oh. we go. We figured out all of our boyfriends. <laughs> he just helps you move around, move around the map faster, gives you more attacks per turn. Yep. All good things. Uh, pickpocketing, we do have four foot because we're green and we're not allowed to not have a good foot score. Agility score, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was like fine. Green's early identity where they were like, yeah. foot is good. It doesn't matter what else you can do if you can evade enemies and not participate in the game. Yeah, you, you can see it even on backstab <laughs> the next card, right? Foot is good. Foot is fist, but really strong. Yeah, um, it, it actually yeah. felt like apart from like foot, early Green design felt like they were like, well, purple is the brain one and yellow is the book one and blue is the fist one and... Like, red does them all, like, okay, and so that means green needs to be the foot one, but foot, like, kind of doesn't do anything on its own, and so green cards kind of didn't do anything on their own, and they were really confused to what green should be doing. Yeah. Yeah, once you once you get a little further on in the in the cycles, you get some more options as yeah. far as green cards go, but we'll get to that in a minute. Especially the layer ones, they really, they I, really came around and made green interesting. I, I do feel. feel like green is the most improved award, you know, like that little button on them, it's like, congratulations, you've done it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backstab gives you a one-shot fight action, but it does also get you over that Asphaloth bump that we always talk about, having the attack deal three damage instead of two, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which is pretty important. Plus, you can discard it for a foot or a fist. Yeah, which well, are looking at like the, the early, things you want to do. The early design scenarios like Corset and Dunwich, that two dam three damage over two isn't like super super important, but especially as you get into the later ones, you're like, man, I wish I could do. Damage. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of the non-elite enemies that they make hard, they make them difficult because they have three or more health. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dodge is a way of saying no to the game, which is always a good thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Just not taking damage is a good thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Elusive might be the strongest green card in the game, level zero anyway. Yeah. It might not look strong when you first look at it, but like it, you you get a yeah. Counting actions. We definitely say, think it. Well, it didn't think it was strong when we first saw it. It's true. It's true. Yeah, but like, how many actions do you really get on this fast two-costed card? 
Like you get to disengage from every enemy that's engaged with you. You get to move any to any location that doesn't have any revealed location with no enemies on it. That could be like that could be upwards of like six or maybe even eight actions if uh, you know you're really in a bind. Yeah. But that would be a bad thing. It's usually about four. It's usually that's worth a about lot. four, which yeah. is like a lot. Uh, we have an emergency uh, mer- cash, which is uh, good because uh, Skids needs his resources for paying for cards, but also due to his ability, where you want to be doing that every turn. I ask because that seems well, like what you want to do. You know, any 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 time that you can you can take the extra action and do something real with it. You don't want to just take it to like draw a card or whatever. Yeah. That's not worth two. That, that's not that's worth two money. That's an excellent point. That's <laughs> a bad. That's a bad time. I'm gonna spend two resources yeah, like, and uh, I don't know, gain a resource. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta be like attacking something or investigating or doing something doing something real with it, right? Like yeah, you can't you can't take one of the basic one of the basic bitch actions <laughs> for too much. Don't do that. Skiz is a goon. Like his ability is good in that context. In that on the turn, there's definitely going to be turns where uh, there's no monsters to fight, and while you can investigate like competently with your three book. Uh, you can also like kind of store two actions for one in the future by yep. just taking resources and then having that extra action to chop up an enemy or whatever. Definitely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, sneak attack is just sort of testless damage. Sometimes the test is somebody else's test that they made. Yeah. But... Still very good for skids though with his four foot. Yeah. 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 Like you, you do have a fairly easy time evading enemies if that's really what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, vicious blow is a must include for anyone who can play blue cards and wants to kill monsters. Yep. Again, it gets you it gets you from two two to three, which is fairly large. Uh, we have the guts overpower and unexpected courage package, which are just good uh, guts because it's the one of the defensive stats and his brain's a little bit low. Uh, overpower because once again, Skids is the goon and he's going to be punching people <laughs> in the face. I said guts every deck. Yeah, yeah, like. For skids, you could feasibly play any of the other ones. You want overpower like for sure. The like, yeah, they're they're all pretty okay. Like perception lets you investigate at five. Manual decks lets you evade at six. Guts helps you not die so good. He is at that, that threshold that, that Travis said, where he's at three, which is at the point where you feel okay with committing cards to the test. Yeah, yeah, you can you can try to make your test good. Yeah. Uh. These are his uh, personal strengths and weaknesses. His, uh... Yeah, he has a he has a very weak pers- uh, very weak unique card. It is basically just three book or three foot. You very rarely want to play this because it doesn't it doesn't block elite enemies, and that's pretty much the kind of enemy you might ever be worried about playing skits. Yeah, because everybody all else can just, just die. Kill. Yeah, yeah, it you can you can just kill like... them. If you get caught with your pants down, you can play this and then like play your weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there, there are worlds where you will want to play it, but it is largely just you can discard it to get to six book or seven foot, which is quite strong. Mm-hmm. I didn't include uh, it in this deck, but you could also do like some cute things with on the lamb and like dynamite blast, where you like <laughs> have a bunch of enemies ignore their attacks while between with on the lamb and like move on the one location. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, there are there are some neat things that could be done with it, but most of the time you're going to be pitching it for icons. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty mad, but like it's yeah. there's some flexibility. There's things you can do with it. Yeah, the big the big trade off for that is that Skids also has one of the softest personal weaknesses in the game. Yeah. Uh, not only does it not do anything if you're playing standalone mode, but even if you're not, it's not going to cripple you. You never draw it, and you're like, oh no, guess I'll lose. Yeah. And even if even if you fail to pay off the hospital debts, two less experience, it's it's not good. But there's much worse things like mental yeah, trauma. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's it's much it's much better than taking trauma. Yeah. Yeah, this is like up there with shell I mean not quite as soft as shell shock, but like it's in the uh, same tier, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I think I think like shell shocked has a much uh much higher ceiling for how bad it can be. But a lower floor as well, where it's like sometimes you draw and it does literally nothing. Yeah, like it could in theory kill you. But that being said, I've played three campaigns with Mark Harrigan, and <laughs> every time I've drawn Shell Shock, I was yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's go to some upgrades in the core set. So upgraded Leo, just he just costs less to play. Nothing yeah. else has changed here. Yeah, I mean, uh, it means that you can play him on turn one without having to stop to gain a resource first. Yep. Yeah, uh, but for the most part, he's like that throwaway experience you kind of got. Yeah, he's uh, he's not a priority upgrade. Just an upgrade you can take. Sometimes you got some extra experience. Yeah, B cup, B cup is a priority upgrade for skids mm -hmm. because uh, Tesla's damage is Tesla's damage. Yep. And uh, we definitely want to be keeping that plus one fist in play as long as we can. I'd argue that the police badge is also kind of a priority upgrade for skids because it takes that accessory slot, in which he doesn't. Yeah, you don't you don't really? actually want it for anything else. Uh, it does also put you to a uh, place where every every stat you have is three or better. Yeah, which is not There's a bad place to be. Those two actions yeah. can provide some really explosive turns late in the game with some, especially with some cards from other cycles. Yeah, like even even with just cards from the core set, if you're playing skids and you have a police badge in play and a Leo DeLuca in play, you can play a seven action turn. That's Which is like a, it's like a lot of things you can do. It's also a very strong because uh, you can give it to any investigator. Your, your red investigator could be like, "I'll play Will to survive," and you're like, "Good, take two extra actions, succeed two extra tests for free this turn." Yeah, it is quite strong for skits. Action is good. Uh, sure, gamble is a very powerful green card. The game says you got a minus five. You're like, "Nah, man." <laughs> Check again. Yep. It says plus five. It's the green way yeah, of saying you go no. You're down one. You're like, watch me dick on the game, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can even attempt tests that you shouldn't be able to succeed with your current score. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hot streak is just good for skids because the more money we have, the more actions we get to take. Yep. Definitely. Four experience is a lot, but like turning three money, it's like one and a half actions into five actions is like pretty. Good. That's yeah. It's chamber. pretty solid. It's like a lot of actions. Yeah. It is a lot of actions. All right, yeah, we might not be able to try anything well, but we can try it a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the green motto, baby. Uh, on this to the cycle is very legacy. strong for skids, I think. Actually, yeah, prepared for the worst provides that consistency of getting the weapons you need to start cutting people up with machetes on the streets or other other things. Uh, this this switchblade is the corset one. Is it? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 Uh, this, don't, not don't, the good. Don't play one. that one. Don't play that. That's the trick. Yeah. That was a test for Bryn. <laughs> Bryn passed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we've got. Uh, very good. Yeah. It just it just increases the consistency with which you can find your weapons. You need you need weapons to beat guys with. It's it's yeah. important. Liquid courage is well maybe not great for skids. Very good for whatever team you're playing with. Especially if you only have done which cycle, like it's a very solid one mm -hmm. inclusion. Yeah, if you're if maybe if you're playing with like Agnes, she drinks with the she holds her liquor with the best of them. She drinks better than most people. It's, it's like actually incredible because mm -hmm. she works as a waitress. She yeah. just takes shots during her shift. <laughs> she talk. <laughs> so it makes Justin. Yeah. <laughs> you see nothing. <laughs> Do not look at the man uh, behind the curtain. <laughs> Lone Wolf yeah. is very, very good for skids because that free money you get every turn means you basically get a free action every turn once you're Yeah, yeah it does It does a very, fairly solid impression of one-costed Leo DeLuca. Yeah. yeah. For skids, uh, exclusively. Yeah, yeah. assuming that your name is Skids O'Toole. <laughs> also, blue cards and green cards are both quite expensive and like that money. Nice to have. Mm -hmm. This upgraded Switchblade is... So, basic Switchblade... It is nearly unplayable. It does almost nothing, but costs <laughs> you a card and a resource. Uh, upgraded Switchblade, on the other hand, gives you plus two to your attack, and you get bonus damage if you succeed by two or more. But even if you don't, you still got plus two to the swing. So, like, you know, you get to fight cultists and such like at five, and it doesn't matter if you get the extra damage or not. Plus, it's yeah. fast, so you can run it out while you're engaged. Maybe your 45 runs out of bullets, and you need you need to score some extra damage. For that one can, resource, again, bumping your uh, three fists up to five is like very nice. It's a it's a very solid deal. Next slide. 
uh, Brother Xavier just eats a ton of damage and then does some of it back. But not only does he eat damage for you, he does it for everybody because, you know, he, he's cool like that. Uh, I think a big thing just to note uh, that you can't really see on this slide, but in Travis's write-up for this uh, this deck, uh, he specifically mentions uh, there's a very competitive slot for the allies in Skids, so Charisma would make something like Brother Xavier mm -hmm. uh, easier to include in your deck. Yes. Yeah, yeah Chari Charisma is something like charisma. that I would hustle out as fast as I could. Yeah, Charisma is like high priority upgrade. I don't want to have to choose whether I'm playing B-Cop or Leo DeLuca. I also don't want to have to choose whether I'm playing B-Cop or just two of them. Yeah. But, but back to Brother Xavier, though, like, he's he's a little bit pricey at five resources, so he's, like, a little bit lower on the rungs for uh, ally presence. But, like, pushing that brain up to three is very comfortable. And like Bryn mentioned, like, being able to take damage for your teammates is very good. Being able to do Tesla's damage is very good. Yeah, they're all they're so, all strong so things. Good. He's he's just a good card. Yeah, yeah Charisma, uh, though, like, moi. Yeah. So opportunist level two, unlike opportunist level one, where you have to succeed by three or more to get it back, so it's basically just a terrible unexpected courage, <laughs> like half an unexpected courage. This is like a good unexpected. Yeah, courage. this is like this is like a good half of an unexpected courage because sometimes you get it back and you get to use it again. Yeah, uh, you get it back if you succeed by two or more, and as we just saw on the switchblade, there are a lot of green cards that care about that kind of thing. Plus, you can just commit it to a test, and uh, you know if you don't, if you succeed by less than two, you still succeeded. Yeah. So, the biggest difference between opportunist level zero and level uh, two that I noticed when I was playing that fin deck, which I I need to tell you, you Justin, after that I screwed up on, but um, the big thing that's the two level one opportunists basically give you plus one or plus two to test, and you want to succeed by three at least. But the two level two ones give you plus two so they like quote unquote pay for themselves yeah definitely that that's it doesn't seem like a big difference but it's actually huge yeah yeah definitely mm -hmm. uh lucky dice is like one of them fun green cards that bryn doesn't play with because he's unlucky <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, he, I, he I, definitely I, has the or are they part of that yeah. I used it the first time I used it. The second token I drew was a tentacle, and I was just like, well, I'm never buying this again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> However, if you're not that unlucky, this card is quite strong. For two resources, you just get to retry a failed test. Yeah. That's a good deal. It is. Yeah. Four experience is a little steep, but it does also play on the uh, accessory slot, which... We really don't have any kind of competition for it all. Yeah. I kind of don't get how those take up an accessory slot. Because, like, so most accessory slots, like the picture, they're, like, things that you would wear around your neck. But, like, I would carry dice in my pocket. I uh, know. I carry. I would carry those dice in a bag hanging around my neck, like a little drawstring that I have to, all right, you guys ready to gamble? And I just reach in, and it's like, what's this guy doing? Yeah, but they don't even have a, a bag in the art, though. That's because know? it's around my neck, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no, you go to a casino. They're like, you're like, oh craps, don't worry. I brought my own dice. And they're like, no. Yeah, please leave our casino, sir. Uh, gold pocket watch. Uh, fun trick. It's a way to say no or yes to the game, depending on what you don't want to see or do want to see. A experience is a lot. This is worth it. Yeah. 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 Like we were talking earlier about how you could play a seven a seven action turn. If there are two or three of you, you just get to take an extra turn. Yeah. For everybody that's a lot of actions yeah uh, skip also, the mythos phase is so good it also does mm -hmm. like uh there's a there's a little play as well where you can decide in the moment uh when we first did we would like skip the mythos phase now more more commonly we just repeat the player phase however it really could depend on what your board state is which is a cool like weighing all the options of what is best for what the yeah, best you, can, use you can also skip the investigation phase uh oh, yeah. i don't recommend this one <laughs> yeah but you can do it and no, the gold pocket watch, like, it does, add, it basically just gives you an extra turn, but there is, like, definitely decisions to be made. In how yeah, and how you go about it. Yeah. Uh, Ace yeah. in the hole. Ace in the hole is just another take an extra turn effect. It's zero, you get three extra actions. Uh, yeah, but only you know, for you. Let us, let us know how many actions you've ever managed to take in a turn with Schizo Tool. Oh, yeah. Because uh, the answer can be, like, a whole lot. 
Um, yeah, Justin, maybe for we should do a run where we all just build gimmick decks and see if we can, like, do a lot of something. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> just like one person, like, I did 32 damage to one enemy. And one... I've taken, I have nine actions. Let's, um. I've taken 12 uh... actions this turn. I played Ace in the hole. I played, uh, I used Haste. I discarded my Haste and played another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, vicious blow yeah. that's upgraded just does more damage, which is great. You get yeah, you get an extra fist symbol as well. Yeah, it's not a it's not a priority upgrade, but it does feel good. Yeah, uh, Chicago <laughs> typewriter. <laughs> I think this is this is the skid's big weapon. Yeah, this is uh, this is where we we first uh, this is the first big green weapon we saw. Uh, and this one does work very well for skids because you can sink extra actions into it for a bigger bonus on your fight score. Which, uh, like, actions are something we do lots of, mm -hmm. and fight is something we do, like, a very medium amount of. <laughs> yeah, for skids, like, this is basically, like, you pay two resources to use your weapon, and then you get to shoot at five for three, which is very strong. Yeah. And the extra the extra card, yeah, the extra uh, copy commits you get for... To, uh, even even if you don't spend the extra actions, you still get plus two because it counts the action that was spent on yep. the the activation cost. Oh my god! So you yeah, get to so always, for two resources, two. you get to for shoot at seven. You get to fight at seven. That's actually yeah, it's that's pretty so much good. Better than I thought when I put this in the guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the typewriter is a pretty solid weapon. All right, onto the path to Carcosa. This cycle is pretty meh for skids, but like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, Inspiring Presence is really good with upgraded B-Cup. Yep. You yes. get to heal him and refresh him so you can use him for another free damage this turn. That's very strong. Also, all those uh, symbols are, like, relevant for skids. Yeah, they're all they're all things that you might be trying to do. Uh, let me handle this. It's just, uh, just a way to protect your teammates. Just a little differently. Maybe they draw something where they have to make a foot test and their foot score is only two. Mm -hmm. and you're like, hang on, I'll test six. Or they draw a monster, and you're like, no, that's all. I, I drew that. <laughs> yeah. Let me handle this. Like I mentioned in the some of the previous videos, it's one of those cards where like I put it in my... It's always like in my blue decks, and then I need to come up with a reason not to play it. Yeah, it's just a strong card. Yeah. Except uh, for Carolyn. Carolyn doesn't want to fight monsters. So, <laughs> let you know. me handle this. Wait, no... <laughs> Uh, cheap shot, uh, it adds your foot, which is your high value skill, and also compresses into an evade into the attack if you do two or more, which as we saw is kind of a theme in green, and that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell this is a shallow cycle for skids because cheap shots here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever vigilant is just a very efficient blue card. Mm -hmm. You get to play three things as one action, but they also all cost one less. So it's sort of like taking six actions worth in one card. Yeah, every vigilance is so neat. boring, but like every blue deck, I'm like, man, yeah, it's really good though. I love playing this card. <laughs> yeah, some more experience uh, we've cards. Got upgraded sneak attack. The difference on upgraded sneak attack is that we have an extra fist icon on the card, and the enemy doesn't need to be exhausted, just not currently engaged with you. Yeah, which is much easier to hit. Yeah, this sneak attack pair like leads into more of a. Uh, flexible skids so like if you have like a three person group like we do and you have one person who's like i'm gonna fire investigate well i'm gonna do a little bit of both you know the sneak attack this version of sneak attack really shines when you can uh just help get that two free damage on the enemy that the guardian happens to be holding yeah yeah uh, upgraded pickpocket has become fast, so it doesn't even cost you an action to to play. And when you evade someone, you get to take money for it. And cards. And cards if you succeed by enough. It's good card is like so strong. very strong for skids because we want as much money as we can get. Extra money means nice extra too. actions. You know, extra part, actions means more stuff, like more evades. Part of me is expecting. Uh, not not maybe for a few more runs that we do or campaigns, but I could see Travis in a few runs just being like, look at this green deck I made. Look at all this stuff I can do. I see a change. <laughs> I, just, I just feel it. And just, I just do. I don't know why. Maybe when those star decks come on, I can play Winifred and be like, 
Look at how many symbols I can make. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how many cards I get to draw every turn. Yep. Every time I do something, I will succeed by three. I will draw two cards off my pickpocketing and one off my lucky loot. Rabbit's foot, one off of my ability because I committed two opportunists and uh, an all into this, and I'll draw four cards off my all in. <laughs> good time. Yeah. Uh, Lupara is one of my favorite upgraded green cards. Uh, yeah, sometimes you run out of bullets or you don't have a weapon to fight someone big, and then suddenly you had a shotgun in your bloomers the whole time, and then what are they going to do? Take three damage? Yes. Yeah, definitely. That's what's going to happen to them. And they're gone. <laughs> all right. Forgotten Age, let's go. Uh, just a second, real sure. quick. Sleight of Hand, is that in this cycle? I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one it's from. Oh, okay, no. well, I feel like, really I feel like it good is. with Lupara. I didn't, I forgot to put yeah. it in, I guess. If it is in that cycle. It is, yeah. But if you're playing Lu Lupara, you should probably strongly consider playing Sleight of Hand as yeah. well. It's also it's also a solid card with like flashlight and audio, the automatic. You can just cheat them into play, use them for a turn, and then put them back in your hand. Yeah, it's, it's just pretty good. You should. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't make it into the guide, but like you should look at it. Yeah. This right. cycle is like where Skids is like, wow, they've started printing good green cards. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the survival knife is like it's just a just another weapon, melee weapon option. Uh, it's not better than machete, I don't think. Mm -hmm. but it's like you get to take extra actions if you get hit during the enemy phase. Yeah, if you do decide to play with the uh, Taboo list, it's a solid alternative to Machete. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Colt vet Vest Pocket, I view as a challenge. Uniquely uh, good for skids in my eyes. Yeah, like it has, it has five bullets, but you have to discard it at the end of the round. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those cards that I had in mind when I was about like some cards are like you good for skids because of how many actions he can take yeah. mm -hmm. and this card is like you also get to play like man you should play cowboy skids one time <laughs> we just like whip out your quote that vest pocket and like fan the fan the hammer and five damage or ten damage would be sick yeah uh second wind is just a very strong blue card uh a lot of the time you're playing characters who can play blue cards and you're thinking why would I want to heal damage? I have a huge, I have a huge meat damage score, and the answer is because you're going to be fighting every monster that shows up. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, and then your uh, fourth scenario is in. It's and gonna, it's gonna away, hurt. You just hacked away your fourth enemy in two turns, and you're like, oh god, I have two health left. To <laughs> yeah. <you> help me. <laughs> yeah, and like any turn that you're playing second wind as your first action, it's a turn you drew a treachery. Because yeah, if you know, there's monster, very real scenarios monster. where. Very real scenarios where your turn, your team's like, Guardian, come help me, or like little baby back bitch seeker or mystic or whatever. And you slog over, you got a ghoul like stabbing you in the back as you walk over, and you like, pry the maniac off of me, like, come fight me. <laughs> <laughs> and your seeker is like, thank you, and skips away to a different yeah. location. <laughs> That's a very good yeah. rendition. Paint a perfect picture of what we do to poor Bryn when we play Travis. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, the decorated yeah. skull. Uh, what I love that tagline of "Doom begets Doom." Pretty sweet. I like this card a lot, actually. I've I've seen it several times, and I don't play because I don't play green characters. Because Bryn do. I also don't <laughs> typically play goons except for Markarian. But like, I like I mean, this card. Like the weird part about this card is that the deck that it's best in isn't even a green deck. Yeah, kind of. Uh, however, it is just action compression, and uh, any time that we can get extra resources while performing our actions in the way that we want to anyway, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good deal for skids. Yeah, that uh, we're probably not, like... having, probably not having like, a whole ton of allies die, but... We're we'll killing enemies. We're going to be killing people, otherwise yeah, we're doing our have, job wrong. You'll have the odd ally die, and then killing enemies. And it's just like... Whenever I would want to draw a card to dig for a weapon, I also happen to get half an action on skids. And then any time yeah. that I'm taking, like, I'm conserving actions for the future, I also get to draw a card, so I don't really have to, like, spend the action, kind of. Mm -hmm. You get symbols towards a future test, in a way. Yeah. It's very nice for skids, I think. I think it's one of the premium uh, level zero accessory slots for him. Oh, we got the lucky cigarette case here. 
He has some realizing he being good stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, which you kind of aren't. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. What a twist. <laughs> Here's why you should play skits, but also you're not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, drawing extra cards is just good. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you get to punch a rat and you're like, I'll also draw a card. You can get to yeah. do it while smoking. Yeah, right? It's you're easy. like, I didn't want to kill a rat. This was my smoke break. And they're like, just just do, do it. it. Please. <laughs> Please, I have one base point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so hard. Take the initiative might be the one of the best blue ways to protect yourself from the Mythos deck. Because when you are drawing mytho- the encounter cards, no actions have been taken by anybody. Yep. Yeah. So you just get three wild symbols to whatever test you're trying. This is another one of those cards that just like starts in my blue decks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like yeah, I need you gotta you gotta find a reason to play something else instead. Yeah. Especially as a blue character, like it just feels good when you're like it feels so good and on flavor when you're like the team's guardian, right? You got the and you're like, I'm gonna go first. And you're like, Yeah, I'm gonna do this test and take the initiative. And your team is like, Yeah, you did. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you just tell you your team, handle- like I'm going first because it's better, and then they're like, "Okay." Yep. You handle this one is one of my personal favorite ways to get out from underneath a test or some like monster or actually anything that you might find difficult. Yeah. For I zero, also- you just you just get to hand it off to someone else, and you get a resource. Yeah, for I love it. that you get the resource. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, you know, nothing. it's not my problem. I made some money. You suck. Yeah, well, they're so like. Right? Who's gonna deal with this Shoggoth? And you're like, I don't know, but I'm I, I'm having a smoke. Yeah, <laughs> it surprises you. You figure you figure it out. Let me know. I see the crime a lot for skids. It's like, officer, there's been a crime committed. I killed this man, or I'm about to kill this man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part of seeing the crime is that the crime is the one you're about to commit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to kill this man. Pay attention real close. Yeah. <laughs> watch, watch this. I like, I like how it's Alice Luxley in the art too. And she's from the cycle and she's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I figured out who did it, guys. I, I watched him. Yeah. Like, he told me he was going to do it. And, and then, then he, he did. did. Yeah. Alice Luxley pulls her pistol and like, shoots the, the dead guy. And she's like, yeah. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Hatchet Man is not a card I would normally play in pretty near any green deck, actually. However, in Skids, it does a very good impersonation of being a vicious blow that is also a dodge. It's also it. incredibly strong with sneak attack. Mm-hmm. That is true. Yeah, I don't think there's too much like, else to say about that one. That's, that's what it. that one does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and like slip slip away is just evade, but do it good. Yeah. Yeah. You get to add your book and your foot together. <clears throat> Those are two of your good stats. Yeah. Uh, well, for yeah, a also, fun build around card. Really good. Kind of. <laughs> uh, I agree with what Travis said in his description that this is just a fun card to put in your deck and build around. Uh, it's just fun. And uh, it's a good thing. The thing about Skids is also, as he said, his stats are pretty, like, 3-3-4. Three, three, uh, this could bump them up very easily without having to commit actual, like, cards from your hand mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. yeah, push them into, like, that 4-5 to five range is, like, you're like, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> but no, mm-hmm. well, well Prepared might be up there for one of my favorite cards that I don't get to play that often. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, me too. I'm going to agree. I, I'm second in that notion. It's, it's just, like, you look at it and you're like, you know what you can do with it. And you're like, man... I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like I like the idea of reliable. You like run out. You run out of bullets on your on your whatever gun you're carrying, and you fasten your, your switchblade, and then you fasten your reliable on the switchblade, and you're like, when guns don't work, <laughs> I'm just gonna stab you until you die. <laughs> I brought a knife to a gun fight. Here's your next challenge, though, Bryn. Reliable with the cult pocket. <laughs> oh baby that's actually good yeah uh, you know reliable is especially important for skids with his like any way you can boost your punches is important mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and ornate bow puts yeah. his good fist a uh, good foot into his fist and then an arrow comes out of it 
what? <laughs> yeah, no, that's about right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the ornate bow is like a strange big gun that requires extra actions. Mm-hmm. Fortunately for us, that's like the thing we do well. Yeah. We might not be great at anything else, but taking extra actions, we can do that. Yeah. I am yeah, excited and just getting to, to consistently fight at six with three damage is pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to play with uh, Ornate Bow with Haste. I think that's going to be a <laughs> good time. Yeah, why is our Napo just a green card? Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, because you can play it in decks like Ursula or red. You know, like Wendy red. or whatever. Red's, yeah, like there's too. there's a lot of there's a lot of things you could do with it. Yeah, yeah but I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the circle and done. The Hallowed Mirror. Uh, so the Hallowed Mirror itself is not good. Uh, the cards that it is bonded to, however are very good. It's a zero-cost event that uh, heals you for two and draws you a card. Mm-hmm. And that's just... I don't know if I've ever wanted to do other things. Yeah, and as you said, as the goon, you're going to say, I have eight health, I'm unkillable, but eventually... Yeah, it, it goes away out. real quick. Yeah. Uh, steadfast is like... It, steadfast is a very strong skill that you know you could get either brain or fist. It's like uh, it's like some you took a guts and an overpower and you glued them together. <laughs> yeah, it's getting to the uh, point when you get to stuff like this where you're not going to need to put uh, two guts, two overpower, two unexpected courage into your deck, right? Because you're going to have uh, options like this that are more efficient for allowing you to put other cards that allow mm-hmm. you to do. Yeah, the only things. the only downside to it in our deck is that we only have fourteen total. Mm-hmm. So getting the three is not so reliable. Yeah. But uh, still getting getting two, getting two is fine. Yeah. Puts us to puts us to four or five, so we can actually hope to succeed a test instead of just you know sitting there, arms crossed, like do it to me, game. I, I like the idea of investments in skids because it's just like I'm saving up for all. <laughs> like you just tap it. Look how many actions I can put in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It also it also helps you just have enough money to deal with your hospital debts if you need to. Yeah. Yeah, it seems good with him. Seems like a good time. And there's also nothing better than exhausting investments and be like, look at all this money I'm making while you guys are just, you know, literally <laughs> warping through time and turning wounds into <laughs> into healing. <laughs> um, this one, Travis, uh, brought up a good point. So these are, uh, uh, in his, his write-up, these events uh, are very powerful. But they cost a lot of money, which is important to Skids because he uses that money to make his uh, ac- additional actions. Uh, but they are powerful uh, rogue cards for you to potentially consider as level zero within the circle undone. Yeah, they also do a very good job of impersonating the colorless skills. Mm-hmm. Like if you're pitch- if you're just pitching them for two icons, that still feels pretty fine. Yep. All right, what's up next? Ah, yes, the, the, these two combos. So the 45 Thompsons, uh, the upgraded one is, its utility is strange. Uh, but on either half of it, you get to fight at plus two, which lets you fight at five, assume, which is a pretty solid place to be. And five bullets is a lot of bullets. You know, I'm looking at the upgraded 45 Thompson, and it looks like a red card that painted itself green. Oh man, it's like it's it like kinda. a plant. It's a plant for the Dream Eaters. Oh yeah, cycle I yeah, think because yeah. they're like, look, there's a whole swarm of guys, and you're like, what if I just killed all of them right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also really nice for uh, Tony Morgan because he can like put bounty counters on a bunch of guys and gun them all down. It does also. That I mean, is also, true. Uh, the flavor of it is really good. Right, it's a forty-five Thompson. Just chun, 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 right. I like the forty-five yeah. Thompson a lot. I think it's a very well designed. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I also love the, the sour mashes. They're fun to play with, yeah. and every time I'm watching you guys play with them, they seem like a very good and fair time. They're just they're just a strong card. Like the the level zero one is like you have it's like you pay three money, and what you get out of it is two guts and a one use weapon that lets you fight at six. Yeah, it doesn't do any extra damage, but. You know, you get to protect yourself pretty well with it. And sometimes you don't need the extra damage. You just need to kill something yeah. that has that has one health remaining, and that's a great way to do it. 
I don't play many yeah. green cards, but like I think this is one of my favorite like filler green cards. Yeah, the up the upgraded green one is quite solid. Where it is fast, so it doesn't cost you an action to play. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you plus three brain instead of plus two, so you're testing at five now. And the fight action does act does deal extra damage. Yeah. Oh baby. So it's just like everything about it is better. It's actually good. Oh, and then we have the Ace and Swords on the Moon, which are, as I said in the last one, boring but good. Yeah, Ace the Ace of Swords is like Ace of Swords is good. Yeah, it's like it's just like free plush punch that, that pushes him from like a tier one point five goon to like you know he can actually compete like with good. the good ones. Yeah, being kind of good to good. Yeah, as opposed as opposed to being like, don't worry, I'll try to hit this guy five times and maybe I'll hit him twice. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I have this extra action because right? I'm yeah. gonna need it. Because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Uh, the moon is good if you're playing more of a support skids uh -huh. as opposed to a combat skids. And I've had worse. Well, you know, it's you know, it's better than dying. Getting money and an action for it. Yeah, that's, that's way better than not than dying. Yeah, this one's a lot better. I mean, not a lot better, but like reasonably better than the level four one because like it's not very often you're taking more than two damage and or horror at a time. Yeah, definitely. It's that just a lot true. more flexible, a lot yeah. more comfortable. Plus, this is like you know you get you get brain or bean for two brain damage. You're like, no thanks. Also, thanks for free action, but yeah, that's that's great with skids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it, it just like everything lines up nicely for him. Yeah, I think that's it for him. That's it. That's it for the big yeah. guy. Thanks for watching this video, everybody who stayed to the end. If you have any uh, additional suggestions or advice uh, for skids, let us know in the comments below. If you think we missed anything as well, let us know down there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya.